It's really hard to come up with a name, so I, I thought Velodyne, well, Velo is smooth and Dyne is force and the subwoofer, so I said, well, you know, a lack of anything else, I'll call the speaker company Velodyne. So this place started out as a manufacturing, which I was quite happy with, and speakers, and then right around 2001, it became clear that we had to take all our manufacturing and give it to China. And then I had this big factory with nothing to manufacture, so I started to look around for another product. DARPA had announced these grand challenges, and, and this seemed to be a business opportunity. And so I went in to the, those challenges looking to come out with some sort of a product that I could manufacture. So I sort of settled eventually on this LiDAR as a solution to what people were looking for for autonomy. So the cool thing about the LiDAR is that it's going to affect the future of the world transportation. There are two kind of distinct markets that we're selling into. One of those is for full autonomy for service cars, such as Uber and some of the many, many other service cars that are just new on the market and very exciting. The other area is autonomy for individual cars, that people go and want to drive their own individual cars but they won't be driverless. They will be assisted with what's called ADAS, Automatic Driver Assistance Systems. And those systems are getting more and more sophisticated. When you, when you um, want to address safety in an active way, then you need to have something as sophisticated as like the Velodyne LiDAR. Well, LiDAR works by sending out a laser beam and you time how long the laser beam takes to go out to hit something and then reflect back to the camera. And by measuring the time, you can therefore interpret the distance. So what we end up with is not just a picture of the environment, but a picture with the distance information about how far everything is away. And that turns out to be quite valuable for what a car needs to do. So by telling the computer exactly how far away everything is, a computer has a much easier time understanding the world as an envir in the environment. Into the future, the LiDAR is going to be so important because these new rideshare and taxi services are depending on the LiDAR to have the data that they need to be completely autonomous. The other way the LiDAR is being used will be for your individual car companies and that's going to be um, in their safety systems. It's going to be used as total backup safety system for when you're driving down the road. So we, we targeted the, the 32 for low speed autonomy and it was never actually used for that. It was used for people to make maps from. Most of its application has been for actually making maps and if you look today, uh, most of our business is actually, we're like a survey instrument where people use our instruments to make 3D maps, and quite a, quite a few of these maps are out in the public. The Nokia and the Navtech, and they have a lot of 3D data, is actually, so there's a lot of data actually on your cell phone now that actually came from a, a Velodyne product. So almost everybody, the big companies, have equipped fleets of their vehicles with these things, and they spin around, and actually if you, if you look carefully, you can, you can spot them going down the freeway with little things whirling away. As we get more sophisticated in, in our ability to understand how to make these things, we also understand how to make them smaller and more compact. And so the, this is the direction we're continuing to go into, is try to, try to get these things so they're more elegant in design and therefore more compact and get more, more functionality out of a smaller size. This LiDAR has, at the minimum, 16 laser beams and we're working on uh, a 128 laser beam puck, which it's called the puck LiDAR. Uh, so in, anywhere between 16, 32, 64, and 128. The LiDAR that are out there making safety systems as of now are anywhere between one and eight laser beams. And so as you can imagine, it just they don't produce as rich of a picture for image recognition and collision avoidance. Well, our plan is to develop an automotive ready sensor that's at the cost point and reliability and to improve the functionality, basically enable all cars everywhere to be autonomous and collision free. And that's the future. That's the future of our individual cars and it's a future where you, we will save more than 30,000 lives a year is what we're estimating with active safety. Well, these are my products. I invent them. I 
look at how I, my process and I, my inventions are there to solve a marketing issue. So, you know, they're, they're there for the other people to enjoy. So I try to find out what people need in a product and then I design something along those lines. You know, I try to make the best thing I can and I, it's not the first time I, you know, I, 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 I have a lot of different things and I discard a lot of ideas before I come down to what we really sell.